Hello, Aries. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little tarot with you today. Thanks for tuning in one more time. I appreciate your time. Appreciate all those likes. Thanks for hitting that button while you're thinking about it and all, all your continued support. Thanks for all your subscriptions. Those of you that have, have hit that button and those of you that are hitting it right now, thank you. Big shout out and thank you to all my Aries that are blessing with donations. Wow, many of you. Very kind of you. Appreciate them all, large or small. Aries of you blessed me with a donation. Thank you. And of course, a big shout out and thank you to all my Ramblin' Nation members. Mwah, love you guys. Thank you for your continued support month after month. I appreciate it. Uh, lots of perks. If you want to become a member of Ramblin' Nation, one of the perks is that I, I shout out members of Ramblin' Nation that have YouTube videos. Here I go with a couple of them. I want to shout out Spirit Connection with Amy. Love you, Amy. I like your channel. She's a tarot card reader. She does pick a cards. Pretty good stuff. Um, pretty accurate with the decks I picked out. Nice. Check her out. That's Spirit Connections with Amy. I want to shout out Rebecca Witty. W-I-T-H-E-Y. Uh, Rebecca is an amazing entertainer, has an amazing uh, YouTube channel. You're going to be blessed if you go check out Rebecca Witty, W-I-T-H-E-Y. And I definitely want to shout out Annalisa Drew, another tarot card reader, uh, another uh, pick a card. I like pick a cards. They're fun, you know, it gives you an opportunity to... Uh, Work with your intuition, you know. Which one, Source? Which one? Oh, that, that one? Number number three? Oh, okay. And then they come out and you're like, oh my God, that's 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 crazy good. So Anna Lisa Drew, check her out. She's amazing. Spirit connections with Amy and an amazing entertainer. You're gonna be blessed. Rebecca Witty. Check them all out. Give them a like, give them a subscribe. You guys know how to bless people. Uh, also, another perk for Ramblin' Nation is uh, you definitely get these videos before anybody else, sometimes up to a week in advance. I always, always uh, put them out, try and put them out at least 24 hours before I release them to the general public. You know, that's one of my main perks. And then, of course, let's not forget about Wednesday, Friends Day, every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. I do a live reading with my members. It's fun. It's super fun to be active. Honestly, this is a more smaller, more intimate group. We go through all 12 zodiac signs, uh, pulling cards for them. I like to give away all kinds of stuff. I got winner, winner, chicken dinner. Gonna be giving away two of those. Uh, this uh, Wednesday, friends that I'm talking about right here, uh, this will be for July 1st. It's Wednesday, July 1st, and uh, Got some ooey gooey, soft and chewies giving away two of those. I'll be giving away four shirts on the first, um, a small, a medium, a large, an extra large. Mm -hmm. And also going to be giving away two decks, not one, but two. Yeah, you got to you, hit that button right there. Hit that join button, man. We're doing this every Wednesday night. Uh, giving away the Tarot Grand Lux from Ciro Marchetti. I've modified this deck. I definitely cut it down because, well, it's a little it's a little big in my opinion. It's as big as this old box right here. I definitely cut it down. Love the backs. Look at how it came out. Amazing. Um, show you a couple cards right here for Aries that are out of this deck. There's our Emperor. Amazing. Here's the Fool and our Queen of Wands. Love that Queen of Wands in this deck. Just love this deck, it's absolutely amazing. Gonna be giving that away on Wednesday night, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Also gonna be giving away an Oracle deck on Wednesday night, the Whispers of Love, which I've modified again. If you'd like to check out my modified decks, I have a playlist, got over 70 decks that I have available that I've modified. Check out my playlist, Ramblin' Mike's Modified Tarot and Oracle Decks. You may find something that you like in there. Let's go ahead and play some love cards today, huh, Aries? Going to pull a couple of cards out of the uh, Whispers of Love right here. 
to start this off with. Here we go. What do we got? Love team. A couple of cards that are going to line up with this airy spread. What do we got right here? It says have faith. It's a powerful card. You know, faith is not a misty cloud to me. Faith is a verb. Faith is an action word. Faith already acts like it has it. It's not hope. Hope is hoping that it's going to come. Faith is like, I may not see it, but I already got it. It's a different vibration. And the next thing that comes is the knowing, you know. Yeah. You know, if you're, if you're going to stick in hope, you'll be hoping next time I'll see you. If you're acting in faith, you're going to step into that knowing and then boom, that revelation drops down in, manifestation drops down in because you're acting like you already got it. Anyway, Have Faith came out. And, oh, and the Union of Hearts came out. Nice, Aries. I love this. Let's get into some cards right here, huh? Very nice cards. Here we go. All right. This will be a love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. A little look-see at love. I have source to put these out from a first person's perspective for who's ever looking at this. You know how we play cards right here. You know if you see yourself in this story. You know if you see your friends in this story. Let's fire up our intuition, our discernment as we play with tarot right here, huh? So, hey, tarot, we love Team Aries is here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity, accuracy on my part. Help me see, help me speak what I need. Help Aries see and hear what they need out of this reading today. Let's take all these amazing pictures and put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Aries Highest Good. Thank you so very much for that love, team. Can't do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. Here we go, Aries. Cutting the deck. And you know I'm going to give you a nice full spread. Here we go, Aries. First card coming out. Well, the old river of tears. Hmm, isn't that interesting? That... It's got to be connected to that have faith, have faith card, you know, because the old river of tears, he ain't got no faith going on right there. He's just, he's just staring at the spilled cups. He's not paying any attention to the two cups that are behind him. The two cups always talk about the true love to me. What's that card say? The union of hearts, you know. He's supposed to turn around and pick up the bliss. Go over that bridge over troubled water, back up to that high vibration castle. You know, it's a five, and fives are fives are always they're contrast cards, but you know, contrast is really our friend. It's supposed to show us what we don't want, so we can set our intentions on what we do want. What do we want? What do we don't want? We don't want to be at the river of tears. We want to be back in that high vibration castle right up there. Let's see what crosses five of cups. The fool came out, Aries. It's Uranus, the planet of sudden change. It's a fresh start. It's a new beginning. It's a leap of faith. Wow, that, now that's that's a that's a difference right there. That's having faith. You know, faith is the you know hope is the blueprint of faith. You can't have faith without hope. You need it, but if you stay in hope, man, you're going to stay there crying over spilled spilled cups at the river of tears, you know. Faith says, let's jump. Let's act like we already got it. You know, a little doggy right there. Hey, look out. You're about to step off the cliff. But the fool's got that attitude like when I was laying on my feet anyway. Okay, Sarah, Sarah, whatever it'll be, it'll be Geronimo. Here I go. Um, childlike innocence. There's a leap of faith about to happen right here. For my friend that's been at the River of Tears for a minute. Well, base of the spread is a major arcana. That's the world card. That can uh, have to do with Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. May mean something to you, may not. And, you know, the Fool card's also Aquarius. That may mean something. Aquarius, Aries. But there's a world, you know, now that's that cycle's ending. It could be years of shit being upside down, turning around here from my Aries. 
You know, it's about seeing yourself as that golden angelic being, seeing the world as your oyster. And ooh la la, here comes my pearl of great prize. Is somebody about to take a jump? Somebody jumping towards my Aries right here? I like it. I like it. Could be at a distance. It is the world card. What do we got right here? What do we got? Oh, got the Queen of Swords that showed up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, my Queen of Swords showed up. Now, this position for me in a love reading with me and the Celtic Cross, this is how the other person may be seeing their Aries at this particular point in time. You know, the old Ice Queen right here. <laughs> well, I, I mean, they left you stand at the River of Tears, spilled all the damn cups. Nothing left there but hope and faith. Oh, so we can get into the knowing. You know, but you know, they may seem you as, see you as cold and detached, you know, but inside we all know that, you know, the queen of swords is ooey gooey, soft and chewy. She definitely has some butterflies fluttering around her because there's some transformation that's about to come in here for the queen of swords, be a male or female Aries. I like it, man. I like it. Here we go. What's crowning the spread here? Here's the Three of Pinnacles. Look at that, man. It's Earth Energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You know, and this card's about working on a foundation of something that's important to you with somebody else. It's what crowns the spread right here. You know, our, our, little, our little worker up on the scaffold working right there. People watching them. Uh, it's... It's the Three of Pentacles, and it crowns the spread, and that's about uh, working on a foundation. There's a new beginning. There's a leap of faith. There's a cycle change that's happened. Probably somebody left you stand at the damn river of tears right there. Um, they, but they, <laughs> no, uh, they, they, they definitely want to communicate because the Queen of the Queen of Swords is about communication. They probably know they need to come in here with clear, honest communication, huh? Because uh, this is desiring to work on a foundation with you, Aries. Three, three of Pentacles crowning the spread. Yeah, the fool, the fool, the fool may be jumping towards my Aries right here. They, they, they want the cycle to change. They want the world to change. Six Pentacles coming out now. That's a great card. You know, it's because it talks about equal give and take. Reciprocity. There probably wasn't reciprocity with the old spilled cups right there. You know the story. I don't got to tell you about it. There probably wasn't a lot of reciprocity with the old Queen of Swords energy right there. How they may be seeing you, whether you are Queen of Swords or not. That's their perspective, possibly. Huh? They definitely want to come in with three pinnacles. And they want to double it up. They want to come in with six pinnacles. That's equal give and take. So this is a Libra energy. You see the scales right there. And you know the truth of the matter is that, you know, what you sow is what you reap in life. And if, and if you go around, you know, putting out unbalanced scales like maybe your friend has done right here in life, just saying with this reading, maybe they put out unbalanced scales. Well, you know what you sow is what you're going to reap, so they very well have, could have found some unbalanced scales in their own world. If you go around spilling cups, you may find that you get your own cups spilled, because what you sow is what you reap. Here I got somebody wants to take a leap of faith. They want to come in with six pinnacles, equal give and take. They're a little concerned because Aries they got the sword raised up right there. But they do want to work on it with Three of Pentacles. They do want a cycle change. They want a whole new world to come in between you two right there. Maybe it's them having faith anymore. Huh? Desiring this union of love. It's nice, man. I mean, this is equal give and take right here. I, I love these cards, man. You know, that's, that's Six of Pentacles. Here we go. Let's see where the story's going, man. I like six pinnacles showing up here for you. Well, there they are right there. You know, this could be Aries. 
you know, th this position is how how Aries would see themselves. I got, you know, and this is a good match, you know. You know, fire and air. They may have air in their chart. I know you got fire in your chart. This is also specifically Leo. That may mean something to you, may not. But um, the king of wands, <clears throat> it's probably their energy, to be honest with you. Many times in the love read, these two work together with me. And obviously they are. It's the king and the queen right here. You know, the ice queen. And then we got the old king of passion right here. Be they male or female. Probably sitting around thinking about it all day long. About how they uh, left the uh, situation right there with uh, the river of tears. And how they should have come in with six pinnacles. Um, but, you know, three pinnacles right there, uh, they may have gone off of those damn spilled cups right there, God forbid, but, uh, they may have actually tried to build a relationship with somebody else during a, a season right here, which probably tanked on them, you know, because what you sow is what you're going to reap. You can't touch your beloved and get away with it. I continue to see that in all these spreads, you know, these ones that I read are of some kind of divine nature on this planet. But the old king of wands gets up and goes and gets what they want. They pursue. So get ready, Aries. I, I see your friend looks to me like they're going to pursue you because they realized who they really want to build three pinnacles with. Probably because of your faith. Here we go. Lots of cards coming out. Ten wands. That's the completion of a very burdensome cycle. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Again, it could be our character right here, you know. Uh, be whatever zodiac they are, you know. But, uh, you know, Ten of Wands is about somebody putting down a heavy burden and picking up that Ace of Wands right there for a passionate new beginning. Definitely, definitely uh, this other person right here that sees you as the Queen of Swords, you know, whatever, man. Um, that's because this person's fickled. Huh. But they want to put down a heavy burden that they're carrying around in my shirt that was doing anything with you, Aries. And they want a passionate new beginning. They're going to pursue. They're going to pursue, and they know the rules. They know they need to come in with six pinnacles right here. They know they need to come in with childlike innocence. They know they need to come in with clarity and truth and solid communication about what they want. You know, building up. Maybe, maybe they weren't solid about what they what they wanted to talk with you about last time about building a foundation with you. Maybe they were just too flighty, just being a fool, running around, acting a fool, and all that, not telling you what was really going on inside their heart. You know, this union of the hearts. That's what I'm getting right here. But, but whatever they was, man, whatever they was doing over there with three pinnacles, man, that turned into a burden for them. And they want to pass a new beginning. They'd be thinking, they'd be thinking all day long, I need to, I need to fire up the old icy, icy queen's heart right here and change something. Yeah, that's going to come through communication and truth and clarity and all that. They're realizing that. Yeah, here it is. My princess of pinnacles. That is that card of communication. I mean, all the princesses are communication cards. And, and this is that card of face-to-face um, -face meetings or telephone calls. You know, it's touchable. It's tangible. It's a pinnacle. And, you know, it's studious, too. I mean... My little princess of pinnacles, she's studious. And what I get out of that is that they've been planning on what they're going to say to you for a while. You know, <laughs> they'd be rehearsing it in their in their minds <laughs> right there. They'd be rehearsing what they're going to say and what they're going to do here. It's very it's very it's very good, man. They're practicing their faith right now. I like it, man. Here we go. What do we got? And Four of Swords came out, um, which can be about healing. You know, it could be some healing coming in here for my Queen of Swords energy. 
It can't be about, you know, not rushing into anything. It is for his swords. He's healing after the battle. Talking to Source right there. He's talking to Mary, whoever Source is, to you. Healing the heart, healing the mind, the three swords over the head and the heart. That fourth sword down there, you know, it's clear, it's sharp. It's able to cut things out that no longer serve you for your highest good. I mean, they may be right about this energy right here, huh, Aries? Because she could drop that sword right now. They know that. They, they need to come in with clarity and truth and communication. They're planning it out right here. There's going to be some communication, and they know they need to come in with six pinnacles. This is you, just like a weather overall, four swords. I'm healing right now. Of course, when you're healing, of course, that's when they're going to come back in, huh? <sighs> what do we got right here, man? Yeah, it's a love story between the king and the queen of wands. There they are. My soulmates right here. It's a love story, but one of them's been old Slim Shady over here, you know. Sneaky Freaky right there. Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords, though, you know, I always see this as this is somebody that's got a broken heart. Period. Because they got three swords over one shoulder. They got two swords over the other shoulder. They're broken hearted because they live in the land of indecision. And they're looking over their shoulders one more time, man, at those two swords they left in that camp. Huh? And leaving my Aries right there at two of swords. I don't know what I'm going to do right now. Good for you. But the winds of change are definitely blowing here, you know, and you can't sit on that bench forever because the tide's coming in. We got some eclipses up there. Got some eclipses. They definitely weren't good. They definitely weren't good to you. Five of swords and you stood up and you did what's best for you. You put yourself up in the front of your life. Put them in the timeout chair right over there. They don't like the timeout chair right over there. They don't like it. They don't like it. They don't like you being in the land of indecision about them. Again, what you sow is what you're going to reap. I see it all these times when I read these cards. My five of swords is about standing up and doing what's best for you. Putting yourself up in the front. Don't need all those damn swords because we attempt to walk in love. We attempt to walk in light. But that don't mean you get to come in here and run your... Wipe your feet all upon us like we're a piece of milk toast or the doormat. That ain't happening. <laughs> Six of cups coming out. Somebody's got sweet thoughts of nostalgia when times were good and things were sweet with their Aries. Because they probably reaped all that right there. Seven of swords and two of swords and five of swords. You put that out, I mean, it's a mirror. The universe is a mirror. We're figuring this out, right? Six of, six of cups, man. That's a strong soulmate, twin flame, life partner energy right here. Let's make sure, you know, because this can talk about somebody coming back. We got all this retrograde energy going on right now. Eclipses and everything else is happening. Let's make sure they come in with flowers in their cups for my Aries, huh? I like the spread, to be honest with you. Because you, you flipped a coin on this first one right here. And then, uh, yeah, here it is right here, man. At the moon. Got the moon card right here. So somebody wants to come out of this water. Somebody wants to go down this old smoky trail. There have been some damn towers on this trail. Somebody wants to come down this trail because, you know, they see the sun on the other side of the moon right there. Yeah, and they can talk about all this eclipse energy, but but here they come, man, you know. 
The one that makes the heart go boom, da -de boom, da -de boom, 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 right there. Here's, here, here's the lover coming prancing in. And you know every time they come prancing in, that old waterfall, go whoosh, coming down there. It is right there. Oh, Lordy, help us all. Hi, Aries, here's my cup. Oh, help us all, man. <laughs> Got the lover prancing in. And they've been planning this for a minute. They've been planning it. There's the old emperor right there. They want a whole new world. But Aries seated in their power. I would say they want their Aries. That's sacred masculine energy. They want a painful cycle to end. This is the sun in Gemini. They want a painful cycle to end. Ten wands, ten swords. They want a new day to dawn right here. They've been planning it out, man. This is, they're just not going to show up by accident. They've been planning this. They want a new day to dawn right here. Aries be like, I'm just going to chill here for a minute and talk with Source about this for a minute. And, and decide if I'm going to cut you out or not, man. Yeah. Because, uh... Okay. uh <laughs> I'm telling you, the emperor looking at all that. I'm telling you, all this swords energy going on right over here, man. Uh, your friend, they, you know, it, it, it wasn't it wasn't sunshine and roses over there wherever they were at. It wasn't. Yeah, they know what they need to do. They need to come in with a solid offer. The Ace of Pentacles. There it is, right there in her hand. They know what they need to do. They need to work at three pinnacles. They need to come in with six pinnacles. They need to quit running around acting like a fool. They know all this. They know, man. They, they know they can turn your heart, too, right there, man. They know they can. I like it, man, you know, because this is a solid offer, and that could be the plan. That could very well be the plan. I figured I'm going to go give Aries. A solid offer. Could have took a hell of a long time for it to come in. That pinnacle can take a while. But I do got my magician. That's Aries as well. It's also Gemini and Virgo. It's communication. It's Mercury. It's the manifester. As above, so below. As within, so without. And there's an Ace of Wands here as well. Um, I mean, because these divines right here, these divines, if they have anything in common, it's passion. They want a new beginning. They're going to come in here and make an offer from what I can see. Let's play with the witch's tower real quick on this. This is nice, man. Somebody's been using their faith. Somebody's been seeing it the way they want it to be. Here it comes. You're changing it, man. Bringing together the union of hearts. I like all this. Why? Why? Why, love team? Let's play with the Witch's Tarot. Why the old Five of Cups and the Fool card right there? Why is it here? Thank you. Thank you for Aries. Three of Pentacles came out. Look at that. It's really nice, man. It's really nice because there's only one person right there. See, and I told you they've been planning. They've been working on it. There's that pinnacle right down there. It's the same pinnacle this princess has right here. It's the same pinnacles. I'm telling you, they're, they're making plans. They're making plans. This is, this is going to be serious, man. They're going to be serious, man. They're making plans right now. You may not know nothing about this, man. This is nice, Aries. Uh, you know, the great alchemist right there. He's got that alchemy jug right there, man. And the fire burning in their heart right there. That little, that little candle burning. World card. Why is the world at the base of this spread? This is a cycle in and a new cycle coming in here from my Aries. It's beautiful, man. Here we go. Oh, Ace of Wands. I'm telling you, man. All that passion started to come out. That's that old butterfly right there after the metamorphosis has happened. A passion, a new beginning coming in. Whoo! All right, Queen of Swords. Why is Queenie here? Why is my Queen of Swords here? What we got? Yeah. Two pinnacles. Um, you know, that's, that's my old juggler right there, but... For me, I call that learning the dance of change. And we got somebody here learning the dance of change. And again, with two ace of wands, look at this, two ace of wands. Huh? Yeah, that's a divine connection right here. Ah, they're kundalini energy. 
Wild horses aren't going to be able to keep them away from you, Aries. Just saying, male or female. That's hotty hot, man. If you ask old Mike with his cards. Yeah. <laughs> that's Kundalini, man. That's, that's, that's like, they know, they know who they want. They'll be like, mm -hmm, oh, man. They, they, they want the two to become one. Right here, right now, man. Three of Pentacles. Why is it crowning the spread? It made me blush right there, man. It's nice, man. The hangman. Hangman. You yeah, know. There it is. It's Pisces. May mean something to you, may not. But, you know, hangman. Been a damn hangman tree for a minute. But that looks like Odin's crow up there with that old golden coin that keeps showing up for my Aries. Hey, back, my Aries. You've got the golden coin up here. You know, and Hangman's all about looking at things in a new light and in a new way. I think somebody's coming out of Hangman Tree. Right here, man. Love it, Aries. Love it. Here we go. Six Pinnacles. Why is it on this spread? Why is it on this spread? Well. Yeah. <laughs> this little fire energy. My wounded warrior, nine wands. Been through the battle, expecting more of the same, but that old warrior got no quitting sense, huh? They're always like, well, one last push. One, one last push. Let's see if we can manifest this here. It's hesitancy, though, you know, four swords. Now, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. The, you know, they need to prove, man. They need to prove because they, Ice Queen's here. They could get beheaded. Because the Ice Queen knows who's been painting my white roses red. Mm -hmm. King of Wands. King of Wands. Yeah, I told you. Again, man, King of Wands. Again, came out with 10 Wands. They want to end the old burdensome cycle. I don't know if that has to do with Aries. But I know that this ace of wands that's coming out right here has to do with Aries. <laughs> so all they can think about is ending a burdensome cycle that they're in so they can offer up. <laughs> Woo! Two Ace of Wands and some Kundalini flying around in here, man. Woo! All right, man. Ten of Wands. Why was it on this spread? Yeah, all this mirroring energy, you know. It's beautiful, man, to be honest with you. There's a cycle that's ending, right? It's very clear to me. Yeah. Yeah. And this is on this Ten of Wands. It's, uh, you know, it's on the Fool right there in the five. And, and the River of Tears, and that is the star card came out. Look at that, man. They want to end a burdensome cycle so that they can have their star. It's Aquarius, may mean something to you, may not. My golden angelic being with the two cups, one pouring in the water, one pouring in the land. It's about some divines that have definitely been in separation for a period right here. The Princes of Pentacles, why are they here? Eight pinnacles came out. This is really clear, man. You know, they're shining up this golden coin right now. They're shining it up. They're planning it out. This person's planning on coming in here and working at this relationship. A real three of pinnacles. I'm telling you, man, there's some kind of heartfelt change with your friend right here. It's very encouraging. It's because of your faith. You acting like you already got it. Now you flip the coin on them. Now they're going to have to work their faith and act like they already got what they want. It's nice, man. It's powerful. And it's these very spiritual journeys that these uh, relationships do. Princes of Pentacles. Oh, I already did that. Got eight Pentacles on that. It's beautiful, man. Four Swords. Why is Four Swords here? I uh, got the shadow side, got the devil. Got the devil. And I mean, that's clear with me that if they're going to come in and act like a devil again, be they a, 
a divine or not. You're not going to put up with it. You know how to release yourself from self-imposed bondage, all of that. Looking at things in a new perspective. Definitely Odin's crows flying in here offering this golden coin. There's going to be some communication uh, with your friend right here. Uh, they definitely... Um, if they're not going to tell you where they've been, man, it's been hell and back, man. Uh, they probably they probably reaped every single thing that they sowed negatively into my Aries world right here. Bottom of the deck. There they are. Here comes a fire pony. Oh, my God. The great adventurer coming charging in here. Great excitement. This takes courage, too. You know, I want to tell you, Aries, this takes courage. Got the moon card right there, too, you know. I know. I know it takes some courage. I just want to let you know. They're, they're, they're putting their best foot forward from what I can see right here. Because they want four swords. They want this healing energy. They want, they, you know, they, they, they want you to talk with Source. And they want Source to tell you, you know, don't cut them out. I mean, they're mirroring each other. They're both the four swords right here. And the golden coin, huh? Again, all this mirroring energy, the golden coin. They they want a healing. They're going to come rushing in with great passion. Great passion because they want healing. And they want this golden coin, which is the cornerstone. The beginnings. You know, of the quintessential universal dream. I like it, Aries. Happy summer, man. Happy summer. You used your faith, and now it's flipped on them. What do we got right here? The devil jumped out. Imagine that. Look it, man. The devil and healing came out. Again, you know, this could be your friend right over here releasing themselves from some self-imposed bondage. Just like you did. them now they're doing it with their own knucklehead the devil wants some healing <laughs> what do we got right here crossroads they've probably been at that place for a while about where their true devotion belongs But, uh, oh, look at man. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. This, I love this deck. A communication in the 5D. And you know, that's where it always starts in the first place. Is in the spirit realm. Always manifest first in the spirit realm before anything manifests in the natural realm. Let's just get real. So uh, they're, they're realizing right now in the 5D... Uh, where their true devotion belongs. That's amazing. It's going to release them from some self-imposed bondage. It's going to release them from the old crossroads that they've been in. And it's going to bring them to the old healing. All the chakras being aligned and all of that. Very spiritual journeys right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The surrender. Oh, my God. From, from pride and ego. Look at this. Look at this, Aries. The surrender, oh, it's growing. Yo, Grinch's heart's growing right there. You know, and, and healing from pride and ego, probably some inner child issues, you know. They're going in and doing all that work. They're healing themselves. This is powerful shit, man. It's powerful shit. Uh, there's definitely been a tower wherever they're at, and here comes an offer, man. If this is resonating with you, there's a fool right there, sitting on the cliff, getting ready to jump. Getting ready to jump. Told you they're planning it. They're planning it so they don't screw it up again. It's powerful stuff, man. Put a little love card on this, my Aries, man. Powerful readings anymore, man. Here we go. What do we got from my Aries? Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. What do we got right here? A couple of love cards. We got the old trust. And that, and that, you know, again, that's the faith card. You know, this situation's calling for you to have faith. 
Have faith. You know, which isn't hope. Which is hoping it's going to, I'm hoping it's going to come one day. It's not going to come like that. There's fear based in that. You know, faith is love based. It's like, I already got it. It's already mine. You know. Then the knowing comes. When the knowing comes, there ain't no going back, man. Trust came out. And I swear it's them right now. You flip the coin. And not so much yours. You've been down that road. Now here they come. <laughs> they know, man, they're going to have to take that mask off. <laughs> oh, shit. And all that moon and all that that I saw right there, you know. Oh, they're going to have to take the mask. There's, the, there's that angel getting right out here. Let me, let, me help you. let me help you get that mask off right there, huh? Actually, both people have masks right there. Everybody needs to take their masks off right here. Just saying, huh? <laughs> oh, I don't even want to show you, Aries. I'm gonna, because I think you're wrapping this game up right here. Worth waiting for. Came out right there. One more, one more. Don't want to end on worth waiting for. Because <laughs> there's a union coming here, man. Because... <laughs> Because there's an offer coming. Here it is, man. This is nice. This is beautiful, actually. I mean, that's what you needed to happen. Somebody to grow up and figure out how to be that king or that queen. Huh. Yeah, getting to know each other came out. As you reveal your innermost self to each other. See, it starts in the 5D, your innermost selves. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I, I like the spread, man. Union, the union of hearts. It's gorgeous, man. The bond deepens. Look at these old trees right here. Oh, my God. How long have they known each other? How many lifetimes have those old trees grown together? Beautiful stuff right here, Aries. Here we go. Major, got the wheel. The wheel of fortune coming out for Aries. You know, that's Jupiter, the planet of expansion and good luck. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Karmic cycles. The wheel spinning in an upward direction. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Trying to come in here from Aries. And that's the death card. Could have looked like dead dog in the middle of the road, dead even. But major transformation, major metamorphosis. For who? My eyes clean way back over here. Aries. I love this spread. It definitely went a little long, but I love it. I love you too. Hope you enjoyed it. No, I did. Namaste, my friends. Love and light. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.